Erica, there's a bit of an arms race between video forgers and people who like maybe editors and journalism organizations who have to be digital sleuths to make sure that they are not using um, a fake video or manipulated video. Um, so how can Google help reporters and editors be on the right side of that divide between the forgers and the, and the, and the real ones? Um, well, I have to say this is an incredible panel. Um, yeah, incredible stories to start. Um, well, obviously Google has a you know massive platform in YouTube, and I could sit here and tell you how many billions of hours are uploaded a day, but it would probably overwhelm us all um, because there's just a lot, and it's not all high quality, and it's certainly not all verified um, in terms of provenance and accuracy. So something that we've done is partner with a lot of organizations, including Witness, um, including a group called First Draft, which is out of Harvard, um, to develop verification strategies for journalists. And this is, sometimes it's using Google tools, um, and sometimes it's not. Oftentimes, a lot of the times, it's not using Google tools. Um, for example, using metadata um, viewers, um, you know, plugins to identify um, the, confirm the location of the video, to confirm the uh, metadata of the video. You know, I think we really, I, I'm, a, I'm a former journalist, trained as a journalist. I mean, this is really about applying, you know, those, questions. Is this real? Can I trust it? And then kind of using that digital footprint to understand that. Um, I would say that in terms of the, you know, quote unquote arms race, I think that there's always been manipulation of content, even, you know, images. If you think about Photoshop, Photoshop has been used to manipulate videos or photos and to, you know, that shark in a mall, you know, the flooded mall with the, with the shark floating down. I mean, is that real? Oh my God, we've all seen it in our Facebook feed or whatnot. Um, that's part of why, you know, a platform like Google isn't going to just, you know, take everything down. That's just not the ethos of the platform. So what we're trying to do is work, one, work with journalists um, to teach them how to verify that kind of stuff, um, help us understand when those things have been fact-checked. So we're working um, on a project called Fact Check, which is about adding a line of code to verified content, um, which makes it, a, it's a bit of a burden on a journalist. A journalist has to add a line of code to this, but then we know, and Facebook knows, and YouTube knows, and we kind of can scale this information. It's really important. Um, and we're doing a lot of media literacy, too, which is actually like teaching people how to be critical thinkers on the web. Um, obviously, this is, a lot of this is a language they just don't understand. Um, should you trust the first five links, blue links you see on a Google search result, or should you kind of dig down and and look at what the source is and et cetera. So um, it's, there's a lot, there's a lot in terms of like reestablishing um, how to understand and trust content. Um, and we, that's why we partner so closely with journalists on it.